Hi everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia, and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 from Acoustica. Very cool digital audio workstation piece of software that I think is going to be well, very well suited uh, to folks who are new to the world of digital audio production and also to those who have spent a lot of time producing music on a computer has a major focus on being able to move quickly at the speed of creativity, which I think is very cool, allows you to work very quickly and create music uh, in Mixcraft and some features that stand out over a number of other digital audio workstations that I have seen. So let's dive in and talk about Mixcraft Pro Studio 6. Now, channel strips in Mixcraft are very much the same as what we've come to expect in most digital audio workstations. We have panning, we have mute, we have solo, we have the ability to make use of track automation. We also have access to effects. Clicking on effects is going to give us the effects selection box. This is where I can choose from effect chains. Selecting one of these uh, various effect chains is going to immediately instantiate some, uh, some plugins onto my track, and each of these can be accessed by clicking on the edit button right next to the name of the plugin. Now another cool feature is that if I right click on the effects button, all of my plugin interfaces will open up immediately and I can quickly and easily start making edits to each of those plugins. So that's a cool time saver that I've never seen in another digital audio workstation. Now uh, arming tracks for recording is very easy. Simp simply click on the arm button right here. Uh, right next to that is the pull down button. This is where I can choose to monitor my, my incoming audio. I can also choose what input channel I would like to make use of from my audio interface that is currently connected to my computer. Another very cool feature is that by arming an audio track, I'm going to have access to the chromatic tuner right here on each of my track inspectors. And this tr chromatic tuner will replace the incoming audio meter with a chromatic tuner that will allow me to tune guitars, vocals, keyboards, bass guitars, etc., etc., very quickly from right within Mixcraft. Uh, so I think that's a very cool feature that I've not seen in other digital audio workstations, being able to quickly and easily tune an instrument right within the, the uh, actual channel strip and track inspector inside of my audio workstation. Now moving on to how I can mix my audio in Mixcraft, I'm going to take a look at the mixer. I have a full featured mixer uh, right down here at the bottom of my screen. It does have a three band EQ with highs, mids, and lows, uh, allowing me to fine tune the equalization on my track. And uh, one of the things I very much like is that if you double click on any of these knobs in the EQ, they will reset to their default value. I don't see that feature a lot, uh, but when I do, it's another little time saver that I love. Accessing FX is very easy to do from the channel strip. I can also access, in addition to my effects, the arming of my tracks for recording, as well as solo and mute. Now this is also where I'm going to gain access to my fader for that channel strip, and of course this is going to allow me to fine tune the volume for the specific channel strip that I am working with in my Mixcraft setting. So I also have here access to my master track, and my master fader of course is going to give me control over the master volume output in my Mixcraft session that I happen to be working on. Now, the mixer can be replaced with the sounds library, and the sounds library is accessible by clicking on the library tab right here uh, just above Mixcraft's mixer. The sounds library, depending on which version of Mixcraft you get, is going to give you up to 6,000 uh, loops and sound effects. All of these are royalty free, which is great because you can use these in your own productions immediately. Now, it's very easy to browse sounds. Uh, loops and uh, other available sounds in my sounds library I can simply click in the library pull down and select loops or sound effects now I can browse and find a brand new uh, loop which I would like to make use of in my production now once I found one that I would like to preview I can simply click on the small preview play button right next to the name of that loop in order to pre-listen it or I can simply drag and drop it directly into my Mixcraft session. Now in the case that the loop that I'm bringing in happens to not be at the right tempo or key as uh, my Mixcraft session, Mixcraft will ask me if I would like to cause for my Mixcraft session 
to match the key or the tempo of the loop I'm working with. In this case, I'll go ahead and click on yes because this will speed up my workflow. And now I'll drag that region over. We'll go ahead and hit play and see how this loop sounds. Now, I've really liked all of the sounds that I've heard in Mixcraft. They're very well recorded. And uh, a great feature is that these are going to immediately play back in time and in key with your Mixcraft session. So you're not going to need to worry about thinking about having to warp those files or do uh, almost any work in order to get them to play back exactly as you want them to sound with your Mixcraft session. So again, this is very much going to speed up your workflow when you're looking to quickly and easily create music. Let's go ahead and talk about virtual instruments in Mixcraft. A virtual instrument channel strip and track inspector is very much the same as an audio track uh, with one large difference and that is this small keyboard icon on my track inspector. Now when I click on that, that's the change instrument button. This is going to bring up the instrument chooser. Now this is where I can scroll through my categories of virtual instruments. I can choose from my own VST instruments or rewire devices because Mixcraft is rewire capable or I can scroll through a number of other instruments which come with Mixcraft and I can browse through these by category. After browsing my category I can choose a preset for that specific instrument that I have chosen. Now I can simply double click on that. That instrument will become immediately active and now I have quick access access to be able to play that instrument with a MIDI keyboard. If I don't have a MIDI keyboard, I can click on musical typing. Now musical typing is very cool because this is going to allow me to use my computer keyboard as a MIDI keyboard in my session. See right there, I'm just simply playing back some MIDI uh, using my computer keyboard. So maybe if you don't have a MIDI keyboard in your studio or you don't have access to one at the time and you just have an idea and you need to get it laid down, you can quickly do that. Now, uh, let's go ahead and record some MIDI by making use of musical typing. And you can see how easy it was for me to lay down some MIDI by making use of my computer keyboard as a MIDI keyboard. I really do like this feature in Mixcraft. Now when I'm working with MIDI or audio tracks, I can simply double click on one of those regions in order to enter the editor for both MIDI and for audio. And this is how I can quickly make some changes to loop regions. I can also edit my MIDI. Uh, by making use of some of the various tools here. So this is a quick and easy way to work with either your audio or your MIDI that you have recorded in your Mixcraft session. And one more thing that I think is also very unique to Mixcraft that I thought I should mention is uh, something that may seem not exactly the biggest deal, but to me, I find it incredibly useful. And that is that my scroll wheel on my mouse, no matter where I happen to be, in my, uh, as long as my mouse is in my normal edit timeline, scrolling up and down will zoom in and out. Now this is a cool feature that I'm used to only seeing in video editing programs, but it is here a feature in Mixcraft Pro Studio 6. I love this um, because I always want to do this in most digital audio workstations and I can't. Uh, and usually I have to put my mouse into my ruler and click and drag to scroll or some other kind of um, you know voodoo that you have to do uh, in order to actually be able to zoom very quickly but I love being able to zoom with the mouse wheel I think it is just a absolutely great feature it may seem like something small but you will probably find that you'll use this over and over again and it'll very much speed up your workflow uh, speaking of a feature which you do not see in most digital audio workstations, let's talk finally about making use of video in Mixcraft. Now, I've created a video track, and all of my tracks can be created by clicking on the track menu, going to add track, and selecting the type of track that I would like to make use of. So I have created a video track, and I'm going to go ahead and drag some video into Mixcraft. I'm just dragging this from my other screen. Now this is just some video of me playing the drums. Now, the very cool thing about this, again, is that most digital audio workstations do not allow you to edit video in almost any way. Uh, it's pretty uncommon, but right here in Mixcraft, I have the ability to edit video. And so when I dragged that video loop uh, into Mixcraft, 
it immediately gives me a video track that I can make use of, and this is going to give me preview frames of me looking a little bit goofy while playing the drums. It's also going to create a new audio track for the uh, video that I've just dragged in, and now I can simply play this back. Now you're going to notice I'm not currently seeing any video, right? Well, that's just fine. You're going to notice the video menu right here in Mixcraft. Again, something that you really do not see in just about any digital audio workstation. Click on video and select the option show video window. Now I'm going to get a video preview window and this is going to give me a quick video preview of the video that I am working with in Mixcraft. So this is an extremely cool feature that you just absolutely do not see uh, in most any digital audio workstation. I even have the ability to add text uh, overlays on top of the video that I happen to be working with. I can automate different features on that video, including lightness, uh, blur, grayscale, all uh, manner of different video effects that I can apply to my video. So essentially I have a full featured video editing suite at my fingertips with Mixcraft Pro Studio as well as a full featured audio editing workstation. So it really takes two features that normally you have to go between two different programs to make use of and mashes them up into one. And this is going to allow you to uh, lay some music over some video in order to make a music video. This will allow you to make music for other people's videos. If maybe you are a vlogger or something like that, this will allow you to edit your videos and add music to them, edit the audio track. This is just a very, very cool feature because this is something we absolutely do not see in most digital audio workstations. I absolutely love this feature. Now there are a number of other features uh, available to you in Mixcraft Pro Studio. They're pretty much too numerous for me to mention in one video. And uh, I think that that's really great because for uh, an, an application that is very well suited to the digital audio beginner, it's really nice to see that there are so many features that they would also keep a digital audio veteran very interested as well. And so uh, I will be doing some overview videos of the other features here in Mixcraft Pro Studio as time goes on, but I wanted to show you guys some of the cool standout features in Mixcraft Pro Studio. If you have questions, feel free to get in touch with me and I would happily answer them for you. Uh, again, we will be doing some future overview videos of the other features in Mixcraft. And so if you do have questions or requests, feel free to get in touch with me. I'm Brian at Obedia.com. You can find us on Twitter and on Facebook, of course. And uh, I always look forward to talking digital audio production with you guys. I would like to thank Acoustica for providing us with Mixcraft Pro Studio uh, to showcase to you guys here today. And I hope that you do check it out. Check out their website at acoustica.com. Check out the description in our video as well, of course, to find some information about the software. And as always, guys, thank you for watching our videos. I look forward to seeing you next time and take care.